So let's take a few minutes and talk about these fires because this is a yoga of fire. Being a yoga of fire, it's going to use all three fires. Ultimately, one could say that it wants to really invoke and invite us to use the highest fires that we are capable of, no matter what that might be for the person. So that's encouraging. That's encouraging because anybody can meet Agni Yoga right where they are. And then furthermore, as we understand that a fire transforms, fire essentializes, fire alchemizes, fire reduces, so transforms, essentializes, alchemizes, reduces. So then we are encouraged and invited then to work with, through Agni Yoga, with any fire that we can, to the extent that we can. Even in working with fire by friction, we would, as an example, uh, we might work with how much friction is in our life, very simply. And we might determine for ourselves that we want less friction. We want less stress, we want less anxiety, we want less fear, etc. And so we would take upon ourselves the transformation of that kind of fire that we are living, that stressful environment, etc. And we would literally seek to transform it. Well, the only way to transform it with that would be to essentialize, would be to go through the list of our own life, to determine for ourselves through priority, right responsibility, what is mine to do, these kinds of things. We would essentialize. That process alone would be an alchemical process. It would be an alchemical process in our mind as we distilled our thoughts in our mind, as we distilled our personalization of those thoughts in our mind, and then as we then acted in a new way with a new pattern of behavior, a new pattern of thoughts, less personalization. And then all of that, we would find, would actually not only reduce our stress, but reduce the type of fiber friction that we were living, its frictional nature, and we would reduce what we were involved in. And that's fire by friction. And we could do the same thing with solar fire. So let's say that now with solar fire, we would look at, instead of just the doing of things, right, we would look more at the relational skills that we have and how our relational skills are providing benefit and, and goodness, or our relational skills are gummed up, if you will, with our sense of me and our personalization of things. So we go through the same process. We transform how we are relating to someone, to something, therefore attachments, detachment, sentiment versus just seeing something as it is, right? Sentiment includes wishing for something to be what it used to be, wishing for something to be something other than it is, wishful thinking, that kind of whole thing. Well, all, none of that works if we are first not accepting and honoring what is. In fact, that usually is the first level of transformation on the solar fire consciousness level, is accepting, is honoring what is. Then that brings us to why we could not or did not want to acknowledge or honor or respect, accept what is. So in that case, now with the word essentialized, we start to get at the essence. And in that case, it will be an emotional essence. We might get to that we have a feeling of unworthiness, that we have a feeling of fear, that we are afraid of failure, that we have not done enough, that we are not la 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 la, whatever is a whole set. We might find at the essence that we are a really prideful SOB. Right? And so that's the essence of it. Well, I don't want anybody to know that I've made a mistake. In that process, again, if we engage through honor and accepting, that will start to alchemically change our way 
of relating to the situation, to ourself, to the other person.